September 15th. What to renounce? We have renounced the hidden things of shame. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 2. Have you renounced the hidden things of shame in your life? The things that your sense of honor or pride will not allow to come into the light. You can easily hide them. Is there a thought in your heart about anyone that you would not like to be brought into the light? Then renounce it as soon as it comes to mind. Renounce everything in its entirety until there is no hidden dishonesty or craftiness about you at all. Envy, jealousy, and strife don't necessarily arise from your old nature of sin, but from the flesh which was used for these kinds of things in the past. See Romans 6 verse 19 and 1 Peter 4 verses 1 through 3. You must maintain continual watchfulness so that nothing arises in your life that would cause you shame. Not walking in craftiness. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 2. This means not resorting to something simply to make your own point. That is a terrible trap. You know that God will allow you to work in only one way, the way of truth. Then be careful never to catch people through the other way, the way of deceit. If you act deceitfully, God's blight and ruin will be upon you. What may be craftiness for you may not be for others. God has called you to a higher standard. Never dull your sense of being your utmost for His highest, your best for His glory. For you, doing certain things would mean craftiness coming into your life for a purpose other than that what is the highest and best that you have. And it would dull the motivation that God has given you. Many people have turned back because they are afraid to look at things from God's perspective. The greatest spiritual crisis comes when a person has to move a little further on in his life than the beliefs that he has already accepted.